Zach. This is the fourth episode of my show. Um, this one's going to be called Secrets Revealed. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be the one where I answer all the, some of the, or some of the thousands of questions I got, and not all of them, <laughs> of course. But anyways, I know it's only been like nine months since my last video, so a lot of you probably didn't have time to send in all the questions you wanted to, but I'm on a tight schedule and I have to keep things rolling, so I'm sorry. On to the questions. My Rocker Mind asks, if a girl puts out on the first date, does that mean she is a whore or could she just really like you? Hmm, the tough questions right off the bat here. The old cheek peckeroo, kissing on the cheek. I have to say, I think she's pretty much a whore. And I know you guys might be thinking, ooh, woohoo, looks like I got a peck on the cheek on the first date. But guess what? That's going to start spreading and you're going to get gonorrhea and cooties and syphilis and it's going to be a big zombie face pretty soon. Uh, yeah, this is a disgusting question. Um, if she's going to put out on the first date like that, then obviously she's a slutty, worthless whore and she needs to read the Bible. Logtar pants on fire who closed his main account and then kept open his secondary account even though he had less subscribers just to confuse me asks, Here's the question on everybody's mind, the one everyone is afraid to ask, but all want an answer to. How can I be as awesome as Zach? I think this requires a tip. A hot tip. It's getting hot in here. This tip is super hot. All right, now here's a hot tip that's not invented by me. It was pioneered by a macking genius by the name of Michael Jackson. It is what I like to refer to as the giggle of a lure. Step one, as soon as the girl acknowledges you in any sort of positive way, avert your eyes. Then, step two, place the tips of your fingers to your mouth like so. And then, step three, in as high of a pitch of a voice as you can, giggle away. Here it is in action. Just imagine uh, that you are a girl and you just had it said something to me, right? And then this is what I do and just watch your heart melt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Matt. Revlo Matt asks, I want to know how I can get to know these superstar girls from cinema or YouTube. Can you give us advice on that, Zach? Hmm, I'm sorry, but I do not hang out with that crowd. YouTube superstar Paper Lilies asks, Zach, I think you are kind of cute. <laughs> Would you go out with me? Asterix, twirls hair, asterix. Oh my god, I'm so super flattered, Paper Lilies, for reals. It's just that I think my heart still belongs to the girl who broke my heart. I guess it's true what they say. The Once you go, Liza. Okay, Dimension Torn Free asks, Ever since I started following your advice, girls have been paying lots of attention to me. Asking for my advice on fashion means they like me, right? Oh my god, yes! You're doing so good, I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, keep the pressure on though. Next time a girl asks you for advice, you might want to mix it up with a giggle of a lure, and then maybe... Oh, don't forget, denim is still out, but here's a little hot tip for you. Denim pattern fabrics might be coming in in early spring. Fab4 four, Fanatic4 four asks, here's a question. Zach, from a girl's point of view, how should I ask someone out on a date? Hmm. I'm sort of a traditionalist, and I say just go for the old classic. A high five and a curtsy. Zach Talbert asks, Hey there, fellow Zach. I have a question for you. Do you believe a unicorn is a violent creature, or is it peaceful by nature and only violent when provoked? Thanks for all the tips with the ladies. Keep juggling life. Hmm. That's a doozy. I could pretty much spend an hour answering this question. And first of all, for all you people who don't believe in unicorns, um, have you seen horses? 
pegasuses, zebras? Do you see a resemblance to a unicorn? Obviously, if one exists, the other exists. It's called evolution. Look it up. Uh, as to answer your question, um, you know what? I think they get a bad rap because when magicians make evil potions, they sometimes use ground up horns of unicorns and then people think, well, maybe they have evil qualities, but I don't think so. And also, a lot of times they're protecting their young, which is just maternal instincts. That's not really violent tendencies. Yeti22 asks, I have a question, Zach. If I want to be a player, how should I dress? It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. Pizzazz, style, confidence, buttons, optional. Okay, also finally I think I should point out that you'll never be a top of the line player unless you treat your body like a temple, like I do. Um, and that means exercising and eating right. Uh, for exercising, I recommend you do curls with your arms. Urgh. Nothing heavier than a soda, about 12 ounces. That's, that's enough. Uh, but you see what I'm doing here? Does anybody see what I'm doing wrong? Mm -hmm. Exactly. My wrist isn't limp. There we go. And number two is you have to eat right, which means vegetables. And the vegetable with the most vitamins is actually the simple carrot. Uh, mm, I got it in my eye. Uh, okay, I'm better. I'm okay now. Um, and what people don't know about carrots is that most of the vitamins are actually on the outside and when you chew the carrot it breaks down the vitamins and they don't go into your body as well. So it's actually best just simply to suck on a carrot. Mmm. Uh, yeah. That's good too. Mmm. That's good. And there's nothing against there's nothing against multitasking, you know? Two birds with one stone. Mmm. 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 Mmm.